Hello, let's talk about how to tune your bass. If you just got your new bass, you probably went through something like this. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like Flea, and I'm gonna play in front of massive crowds. <laughs> I'm out of tune. Well, worry no more. For modern technology has solved our problems, and we can now play our basses flawlessly with the proper tunings. First, let's talk about the different types of tuners that are available for you. The first one I'm going to talk about is the clip-on tuner. It's cheap, it's reliable, and easy to use. You just clip it on and turn it on and then voila, you can start using it. However, it's not too reliable because it's not good at catching the lower frequencies on your bass. So if you're a guitarist, I guess you can use it, but bassists, ah, uh, not too much. I don't recommend it. The second tuner we're gonna be talking about is the foot tuner. It's a lot more reliable than the clip-on tuner we just talked about, and it's, once again, super easy to use. You turn it on with your foot, you turn it off with your foot, that's why it's called a foot tuner, okay? Now, let's learn about the notes for each of the strings. Let's start off with the string that's closest to you, or the lowest string, which is the E string. The next one is the A string. The next is the D string. And the last and the highest string is the G string. Now, E, A, D, G. That order might be a little difficult to remember. So here's an acronym to help you remember these notes. The electric alligators died graciously. Not very helpful? Well, think of your own acronym. Think of a better one. I dare you. When tuning the strings on the left side of the headstock, you turn the pegs away from you if you want to make the notes of the strings higher, and towards you if you want to make the notes lower, and for the strings on the right side of the headstock, you turn the peg towards you if you want to make the notes of the strings higher, and away from you if you want to make the notes lower. Now, let's start tuning our bass. So let's start off with the E string. Ooh, seems like it's a little too flat. If the light's going to the left, that means your string is flat, okay? So let's tune it up. And, oh, now the light's green. That means it's in tune. All right, let's go on to the next one. The A string. Now it seems like it's too sharp. If, it's on, if the light is on the right side, that means it's too sharp. So let's tune it down. And voila. It's in tune now. All right, next string. Ooh, that one's in tune. And last but not least, the G string. It's a little flat, so let's tune it slightly up. And now it's all in tune. Now that I'm in tune, I can jam out just like Flea. <laughs> Now, wasn't that a beautiful smile? If you too want to have fun playing your bass, stay in tune and always tune before you perform or before you practice.